It's just crazy. It just keeps going and going. Hi guys, Aspen here. Uh, today I am in Dumfries and Galloway in southern Scotland. And I'm at the River Net where the, almost the entire population of Svalbard and Barnacles are here by this river. And yesterday we had thousands flying over the river that you see behind me here, just back and forth and heading down to the coast at sunset to roost. Uh, today though, I've had a little walk around here and um, I've seen quite a few of them up in a field in front of me. And there's this kind of crack or stream that's running up to them. And I was thinking that I'd be able to go into that stream and I can basically hide there and get close to them. This is basically a bit of research, a bit of finding out where I'm gonna put the hide. Look it up ahead though. I don't actually see them in the field, but it might be just cause it's a bit misty and I might not see them. So let's go up here and see if we can get any closer to them. Right below here, I'll show you this little, I guess that's something that was just a stream, a little stream a while back, but it's just tore more and more off the landscape and it goes straight into the farm fields. It's just created this massive rift. So I'm thinking I can sneak up a bit further and just lie on the, on the edge of it and get a clear view of any geese that are there. So, I'll show you a little bit what I have with me today. As you may have noticed, I'm photographing in style today. I've got my Tesco bag with me. I don't have much with me actually. I got my a 150-600 on my 7D Mark II. I got this little camouflage to throw over me, a little net. This is just, just a bean bag to line all the grass in front of me to stabilize my lens. And I got this, which is a rain cover for my lens camera. So I might actually focus on me. I might actually just put this on now because the drizzle is continually coming down and my lens is getting just wetter and wetter. So why not just cover it up now? And it might get a bit muddy in this path that I'm walking in as well, so I'll protect it a bit from that as well. Here we go. And it makes it a lot easier, just a small opening here for me to look through. So easy. And now I'm not too worried about just putting it on the ground or anything like that. Losing a lot of light now. They're still behind me. I don't know if you can see them. I don't know if you can, but they're in that field. But they've known I was there the whole time, and they haven't been too bad. So it's been pretty good. But the light isn't that great, and I don't have the best background. So I'm gonna pack it up for now. I'm gonna try and sneak out of here without a 
upsetting them. All right, that's me finished for today. You can see here, still very misty all around, um, which could have been really cool, but I didn't quite get it right where I was. Um, I didn't have the best background. The birds were quite close to their background, so I couldn't throw it completely out of focus. It's just crazy. I don't know if you can see this. There's a, quite a big flock flying up behind me here, coming down the river. It's just amazing. There, you'll probably see it above my head here now, up here. How cool is that? It's just crazy. It just keeps going and going. All right, I think I'll finish this video with these guys flying over me. Like I said, the, almost the entire population of Svalbard, of barnacle geese, are here by this river in South Dublin. As you can see now, there's just thousands and thousands flying above me right now. Basically, I'm staying here for the next two months I'll be doing a lot more videos on the birds that are around the area. And right now I'm super excited about these barnacle geese. There's so many of them. And the video today was just, I was getting a little bit anxious. I wanted to get out and do some photography. So I'm gonna be setting up the hide and I'm gonna try and get a lot closer to them and pick some better backgrounds than what I got today. So there was just a little bit of an intro though, show you guys what I'm working with here. Really appreciate you guys watching these. Uh, please do comment, like, uh, subscribe if you like these kind of wildlife photography videos. I'll be uploading a lot more videos, so stay tuned and I'll see you next time.